today. Um, for me, um, this <laughs> this must be pretty freaky for anyone who's never been to church before. Um, this this book has been the foundation of my life. My smile that I have is real. And three things that I was looking for in life is what I think everyone looks for. Number one is the truth of your value. Number two is the truth of your purpose. And thirdly, the truth of your destiny. Many people in life go through ups and downs and I don't compare my suffering to others. In fact, I believe that losing a loved one is worse than having no arms and no legs. Um, I met a, a teenager here backstage who tried to commit suicide and he saw how God changed my life and he said, okay, if God changed your life, then I'm going to know that there is a greater hope and I can't see it yet. But You know, believing in something you do not see is, is, is only a gift from God, and uh, that gift is called faith. And I love the acronym for faith, F-A-I-T-H, full assurance in the heart. And for anyone who doesn't really have a faith in God out there in the world, we sort of tend to say, well, all we need is a positive attitude. Just have a positive attitude. But as I've gone around the world, and I have met seven presidents and spoken at five congresses and spoken in crowds as large as 110,000 and seen many big corporations that are successful but also gone to orphanages and seen kids die of AIDS and seen 13 year old girls in India who were kidnapped three years prior sometimes even sold by their parents as sex slaves feeling like there is no hope in their life I can't simply go up to someone, bottom line, I can't go to someone here in Salt Lake City who's dying of leukemia and say, well, just have a positive attitude. Because if that kid, whether they're nine years old, 19 years old, or 79 years old, no matter how old we are, there is one thing that we face, which is death. And if you don't know 100% in your heart, in your mind, and not just hoping that you go to another place, but knowing that there is something so much more for what we've been created for than just a simple 90 years. For me, I was talking to somebody on the plane from Nashville to Los Angeles, we were there at the NRB conference there, and I was talking to this guy and he said he's agnostic. And I said, but where's your hope? He says, well, I'm just gonna do my best. I said, and you don't know where you're going when you're not here? He said, no, I'm just gonna live my life. I said, but that sounds sad to me. He said, I'd be depressed if I'm only gonna live for 90 years. He said, but there's something about your eyes. There's something about you that just glows. I said, dude, I'm living for billions of years. Like, I ain't dying, like, seriously? I, I'm not afraid of death and, I, and because I know the three things, the truth of my value, the truth of my purpose, and the truth of my destiny, no weapon that's formed against me 